Oh, hi all. Welcome back to the one minute farming videos. And here's an update on um, machining the main shaft that I was making to carry the, uh, the gears or the crown gear. Do you recall the old Holbrook lathe that I did up? So well, that's uh, running, made that shaft. That shaft's made out of, um, I forget what it is, it's a fair old substantial piece of metal. It was um, originally 100 mil, 10 centimetres. Uh, we're machining this last piece down to 90 to fit a uh, keyless bush. One tip of bearing will go in on that um, piece inside the chuck. The other taper bearing runs here. There's a step down to um, the carrier bearing that I'm putting in that ball bearing of about 70, 70 mil or seven centimeters. Then this is the bush area for the um, the bush in the uh, pulley. And this shaft area here will be machined, or certainly back where my finger is will be machined down to um, I think it's 45 mil. It's been a bit of a mare to uh, machine this shaft. The heat, trying to keep control of the heat, has been a um, hell of a job to do. We've been walking around a heck of a lot. And in fact it walked again last night and if you can see there, I do have a slight run out on that end, but that isn't finished yet, that area. But the rest of these, are all on a finish, fin are finished out. This one's nearly there. I'm just taking this down to, uh, as I say, 90 millimeter. The real Holbrook lathe is um, the one we uh, we rebuilt, or I rebuilt. Um, and we reckon it's around about 80 odd year old, 80 years old. Uh, it's not doing bad. It has a bit of backlash here and there, and the ways are a little bit worn, but I'm managing to uh, turn out some reasonable um, products, so uh, I'm really pleased with it, really. It's all three phase, so unfortunately, I'm having to run the um, farm generator at the moment, as the farm doesn't have um, three phase electric. Uh, but hopefully, this will be finished tonight. Uh, and then that'll be, at last, <laughs> that'll be the shaft done. As I say, it has been a bit of a, a little bit of a bugger to do. Um, it, I'm told it's made out of a piece of cold rolled steel and I'm told that it can be, um, it can, it, well, it came with a slight of banana and I'm told it can be a little bit, um, to try and go back to their original shape. I don't know if that's correct. I did speak to one of my friends who does a lot of this sort of work. And he said I should have been lathering it in um, coolant when I've been cutting it, which is he's probably right. Um, I should have been flooding it with coolant. Um, but you live and you learn. They say hopefully at the moment it's, it's near enough right. Well, it is right, I started to know. It was when I last checked it for any run out, far in that end. So, yeah, there we go. I'm just going to take this cut to that step there under my finger. And I'm hoping that's going to be round about um, 90 thousandths of an inch. <laughs> what am I saying? 90 mil. Sorry, 90 millimeter. Um, hopefully, anyway. Mm. We're not putting as much there. I did have to reset it again. I can see that swarf's going to be a nuisance. There we go. Get that out of the way.
this bush I'm going to use. Um, concentrate. If I um, if I buy the um, if I buy the original Fenner type, Fenner are a company that made or designed, I think, originally designed all these things. And um, they're quite dear. They're about nearly four hundred pounds. <laughs> which um, is going to be quite an investment, really, into the whole project. So um, we need to make sure that we get it right, because <laughs> uh, I won't have a use for it <laughs> if this doesn't work. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so there we go. Yeah, so there's not a lot more I could say, really. I mean, it is what it is. Live work's always pretty boring when, you, when you're videoing it. Um, hopefully uh, the next thing we get in here will be another bearing housing so yeah ok then so that was just a quick update on what we're, we're getting to as I say hopefully this shaft will be finished in the next if I don't finish it tonight it will be finished uh, um, tomorrow alright then bye for now